Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we have a foundation review using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. Okay, so before putting it and trying it on in the face, let's just talk about this foundation for a hot sec. So this is the box that the foundation comes in. It's really nice. It's like a soft matte black. It has the Huda Beauty logo. It says Faux Filter Foundation. And then it describes the foundation saying that you need to use like a pump or less. It's preferably... Um, used with like a dense brush but you can use a beauty blender if that's your preference and that you really don't have to set it with a powder and that to use the Huda Beauty pre base with it which is like her primer for like the best results so that's basically what it says on the box and then when you open up the packaging you have the foundation which is so gorgeous it looks rich it's just an amazing package for foundation it looks glass but it's actually plastic because Huda said that she didn't like glass packaging for traveling and stuff it's just not like is that good so she did it plastic so that's really nice to travel with and like if you drop it you won't break it um soft matte black again lid you lift it up and there's actually a pump yes pray to the gods because pump foundation is the best it's the most sanitary you get the right amount you don't waste any product so that is a product i did get the color cashew which was 140 g um my sephora really didn't have a lot of testers out so i kind of had to just eyeball it um i looked at her little filter sheet i'll um put that in my description box kind of describing like if you're this foundation you might be this in you know huda beauty so I'm hoping this matches. I really don't know yet. I kind of swatched it. And then they didn't have the primer because I really heard good things about the primer, how it kind of stays tacky so that the makeup sticks to it, but they were all out of it at my Sephora. But when I opened up the box, there was a little sample of it. So I'm super excited because now I get to use the primer and foundation together. Okay, so the tools I'm going to be using is I have three brushes handy from Royal and Lanical. They're Moda brushes. This is like a travel set, but it was perfect because it has like a nice dense buffing brush. It has like a nice powder brush for the areas I do want to set it with, and then a concealer brush. So we're going to use brushes for this tutorial just because she recommends it. But I do, let me see, I do have a clean beauty blender on hand just in case anything goes wrong. So let's just get into putting the foundation onto her face because I know that's what you guys are here for to see it work, right? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so with the primer, I just opened it up, cut it open, and I could probably get a few uses out of this primer because I feel like you need very little. I put a little extra than I would normally just because I really wanted to see the texture of this. But because it is like a little primer sample packet, it doesn't say like the properties of it or what it does. So I went on to Sephora.com and it says that it's basically a super hydrating makeup base that like is really to like freshen up the skin. It blurs the lines. It does have those smoothing properties. It doesn't feel oily and greasy what else does it say it says um has rosehip oil you definitely smell that and basically it's just silky smooth and i would say 100 percent all those things are super correct does not feel oily it does feel a little tacky which isn't a problem because you normally just don't walk out of the house with primer on your skin but um i think that's more for the foundation to have something to stick to which i like to do anyway in my normal foundation routine what else does it say um basically just super lightweight it doesn't feel heavy but my skin does feel super hydrated and normally I don't get that feeling from primers I just feel like it's on my skin and it's like absorbed and then I just put on my foundation so this definitely feels like I have something on my skin but we're just going to move on straight to that foundation and see how it applies on top of it Okay, so for this foundation, it literally says use a pump or less. So all I did was just take the foundation, put a single full pump until I cannot pump the foundation anymore. And that is all that is on the brush that is said that it can do the entire face. So we're going to dot around the face so I can get an even application. And then we're going to buff this baby in. All right, so this foundation so far is impressing me. Like she says, it's supposed to look like skin, but better. I don't feel like I'm wearing any foundation on the skin. It doesn't look cakey like I'm looking into my mirror right now. It does not look cakey. It's not settling under any of like the little lines I have underneath my eyes. Um, normally, like foundation will crease on my eyelids because, you know, like you haven't set it with a powder. I put this on my eyelids and it's not even like creasing. Like just a very like tiny tiny bit um she says you don't have to set it with powder mm, that makes me a little iffy because it does still feel a tad bit 
tacky so I would want to obviously just go in with a little bit concealer under my eyes tiny bit just to brighten and then set it with my like normal powder which I'm going to do in a second but the smell of it is very refreshing I don't know the exact scent I can't put my like my like my hand on it like what it exactly smells like but um like the name of the scent you know what I'm saying like if it's roses or if it's something like that it's just very refreshing almost like a little bit florally you have one thing I can see I don't know if the camera's picking it up but on my upper lip I have a little bit of acne scarring super tiny but sometimes foundation doesn't cover it all so what I do is I go in with concealer underneath my eyes and then I just use whatever's left and I'll put it right on top I do feel like you can see it a tad bit with the way I turn but at the same time, if this is supposed to be like your natural skin but better, you would maybe want to see a little bit of skin through it, like if you had freckles or something. But if you want to be a little more full coverage, maybe take like a smidge more of this and put it right on top, which I'm going to do just to see um, what it does. I'm going to take like an ever so little, like super tiny, I don't even want that much. And I'm just going to focus this on my upper lip where I have the little acne scarring like right here and like right there. So let's get to putting a little bit of concealer under the eyes and see what the final result is. Okay, so I just put a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm using the shade Light Sand and I'm putting that just underneath my eyes, just like ever so little bit because this is super highly pigmented as well. I just like to use it to kind of brighten up my under eyes because I did feel that the foundation did cover like any darkness, but I just like to complete my foundation routine with a little bit of um, concealer. Alrighty, and to set the under eye, y'all know I use my Cover FX Perfect Glue Setting Powder. This is just a mini one that I keep for my under eyes, but um, yep, I just just set it, keeps the under eye makeup all day, and now let's just move on to setting the face with a little bit of powder. Alrighty, and I just finished my face off with setting it with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Finishing Powder. It just sets my makeup, doesn't add any extra coverage, and keeps my skin looking matte all day. So I figured I would use like my everyday like setting products so that I can see how it looks with this foundation, and I think it looks pretty good. Alrighty guys, so we have finished putting it on our face. Let's finish up the review by talking stats and if it is worth it. So first thing, the primer that I have in this little sample packet goes for about $35. For me, anything that's high-end or found in Sephora in the $30 to $40 price range is decent to me. $35 for a primer is eh, a little expensive, but if you're using it every day with a foundation and you really love the way it makes your skin look, for me, it's worth it. I did like how it made my skin feel instantly fresh, instantly hydrated, and I think it really helped with this foundation. I'm interested to see if it works with other foundations I have and, you know, so on. But for me, I would give a thumbs up to the primer. I did like how it made my skin feel. Okay, so foundation. The Faux Filter Foundation goes for $40. To me, decent price for foundation. Again, anything in that $30, $40 range, I will be willing to buy and try out. Um, also about this foundation, I got a little bit wrong in the beginning. It is not a full coverage foundation. It's not advertised as that. It's advertised as a high coverage foundation because of the pigments in it, and it starts off as that medium coverage. So for the everyday gal, this is a perfect foundation for you. It's going to look natural. It's going to give you that good coverage. But as you saw in my like little review, in my area that I had a little like scarring or peek through of like redness on my chin and my upper lip, adding a little bit extra was perfect and made my face look full coverage and flawless and just literally love that. So if you are that full coverage gal, you can do this foundation as well. Um, also to note about the foundation, it is paraben, phthalate, and sulfate free, which is perfect if you are in on ingredients like me when it comes to skincare and foundation. That's a really good plus. Um, and yeah, I, I really like this foundation. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It is 100% worth it because you can get multi-coverage from it, the natural look, no cakiness. I feel like I can even walk out if I want a no makeup kind of day. This just evened out my skin tone. And yeah, 
All right, guys, so that sums up the foundation review on the new Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. Foundation gets a yes from me. The primer gets a yes from me. I'm really impressed by how well it covered, how natural it looks like on the skin. Um, yes, yes, double yes from me. So if you guys liked seeing this video and my review, don't forget to hit that like button as well as hit that bell because you get to be notified when I upload my next video, which is pretty cool. As well as if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe because we can become friends. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.